Securities.com and Chinese Stocks TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show, bringing the best press release out of the Chinese small and mid-cap space at the open, so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great Chinese investments. Thursday, December the 9th, I've got one great press release for you. As always, quality over quantity. We don't fill the show with filler, only the good news. Today's news out of Orient Paper trades on the Amex under ONP, and they put out their outlook for fiscal 2011. I love these numbers. It's a manufacturer of distributor and distributor of diversified paper products. They use recycled paper as its primary raw material. Here are the highlights. They expect revenues next year to come in between 186 and 206 million dollars. Gross profit between 36 and 40 million dollars. A net income between 24 and 27 million, and earnings per share between 100 dollar 33 and dollar. 46 per share. For the fourth quarter this year, they expect revenues of $33 million and adjusted net income of at least $5 million. They've taken out what they believe to be one-time non-recurring cash expenses. A uh, little bit about this company on the valuation side. They closed us at $6.10. So if they're expecting, you know, let's call it $1.40 uh, uh, as the mean number for next year on an earnings per share basis, you're talking about a company that's trading uh, under five times earnings, it looks like. So uh, that's definitely worth looking into from a valuation point of view. And also, it looks like they're going to come in about $195 million in revenue uh, next year. they got a market cap about $115 million. So they're trading at just uh, a little bit of 0.6, 0.6 of revenue, something like that. They're not even trading at one-time revenue. So on a valuation basis, you may have a really interesting uh, potential dive in the rough here. However, the company did uh, 52-week high. Uh, is fifteen dollars and fifteen cents, and they closed just at six ten. So they may have had some uh, issues that brought them down this level, and has affected the valuations. You've got to your, do your own due diligence there. So make sure to take a look. Otherwise, that's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. One great press release for you, uh, for you guys to look into. As always, get to the front page ChinaSecurities.com. Watch the show. Uh, take a look at the best headlines coming out of Chinese small mid cap space right on the front page separated by industry, and then get stuff into the marketplace directory uh, where you can discover any of the 250 or so companies that we're following. We believe they're the best 250 small mid-cap companies, Chinese companies trading on North American exchanges, succinct descriptions of each, and you can uh, fill the list by industry and exchange to find the one that best suits your portfolio. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.